Hey guys, welcome back. So today's makeup tutorial is for my friend Kinga, who's getting married in Poland this summer. She's getting married in August. And um, she's gonna have a day wedding. Morning, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember if it's a morning or an afternoon. It's definitely a daytime wedding, and she's having her daughter's christening straight after. Um, she's gonna be wearing the traditional white dress, and it's gonna be in a church. So the makeup look that I'm gonna do for her today is gonna be classic, timeless um, makeup. So neutral lips, um, soft eyes, just defined, well defined. And she's got very hooded eyes, so I'm gonna maximize on the lashes. So I'm definitely gonna wear some false lashes um, and keep the eye makeup fairly neutral. Um, for my skin as well, I'm going for a matte finish, uh, just so that it photographs well. Um, I am gonna put some highlight on, but you know, bearing in, uh, bearing in mind, my skin is dry. If you've got oily skin, oily all over, then stay away from any shimmer, any highlight. Uh, but if you've got um, normal skin or combination skin where you're dry on the cheek, then you can definitely put a highlight on the cheek area. Um, if you're oily on your T-zone, then avoid any highlight on the T-zone. Um, but if you want to see what I come up with, then please stay tuned. I've already got my base makeup on. And um, I've got my Pro Longwear Foundation by MAC. And the reason I've gone for this is because it's very long lasting and it's um, almost a matte finish or a satin finish rather. Um, I used to think that, well, this used to flash back on me, but I've tried it again and it doesn't. So I'm really happy about that. Um, and that's why I'm using this today. Not that I'm going to be photographed, but for the purpose of the video. Um, under my eyes, I have my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW35, which I don't seem to have here. And um, I've, as a corrector, I've got my Clinique, um, Clinique Corrector, that one, which I always use. And it's the Even Better Concealer in the shade Orange Brightener. Now, I'm going to highlight under the eye, and I'm... So, it's just the standard triangle here. Gonna go down my nose. On top of my brows and just in the middle of my forehead. And I used um, this Real Techniques brush from my foundation, which is the cheek brush from the NYX pick set. I think that's a limited edition. I'm sure you can still get it like on Amazon and stuff. Um, but that's the brush I'm using. And I always tend to use the same brush that I applied my foundation for my concealer. Um, just so that it blends better into my con into my foundation. But you can use a different brush. Oh, and I forgot, on my eyes I've already got the Soft Ochre Paint Butt by MAC. And to bronze up my face a little bit, I'm using the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. And this is in the shade Sunny. And what it looks like. I'm just going to take a brush like that. So I'm applying it in this three formation, um, which is basically where the high points of my face, where the sun would naturally hit my skin. And then to contour, um, I'm using the Sleek Face Form Palette in Dark, and I'm just going to take that shade. Taking very little of it though, don't want a heavy contour. And this is just going in the, hollow, the hollows of my cheek, just there, and across the temple, and also down my jawline. Thank you. 
So I'm starting with this brown in the crease, and this is Inglot eyeshadow in 327. And I'm just going to take that on a blending brush, like that. Just a little amount. And I'm just going to apply that in the crease. And winging it out at the end, just like so. And then taking another fluffy brush, another blending brush, and this is the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. This is from the NYX Pick set, but they do have this in the permanent line as well. And I'm taking the same eyeshadow. So for the main lid colour, I'm going in with this eyeshadow, which is the AMC 34, AMC Shine 34, and I'm taking it on the same base shadow by Real Techniques. I've just wiped off the brush, and I'm making sure to tap off any of the excess product on the brush, because these, unfortunately with the Inglot eyeshadows, they do tend to have a lot of fallout. Okay, and then for the inner corner highlight, I'm using the Inglot AMC Shine Eyeshadow number 30. And I've just taken that on the same brush. Taking the same eyeshadow onto my brow bone. And to define the outer edge a little bit, I'm going in with two eyeshadows. Um, this one is 329 and this one is 608. And the reason I'm combining it is because I want to use something that's slightly more orange just to make um, allow for King's blue eyes to pop. Um, yes, yeah, so that's how I'm going to mix the two of these up. Okay, and on the same brush again. If you can note, if I don't know if you'd be able to see that on camera, but it's, I've just placed it on the outer V there, and I've placed a fair amount of product. And then I'm going to go back in with that first blending brush, and I'm just going to blend that out. So I'm going to line my upper lash line now, and I'm using the Shimura Gel Liner in black on a angled liner brush, brush, and Again, with a brown eyeshadow by Inglot, this is the 421. 
on a pencil brush. And I'm just using that to smudge over that uh, gel liner. Okay, and then just going back in with the lid color. Taking the same black and I'm just going halfway in and then going in with the same brown that we used to smudge out the upper one, upper line. In the waterline you can use a black or a brown or a nude color and for me I don't like the way nude looks on me so I'm gonna go in with a black start with um, this blush which is the Inglot blush shade number 22 and I'm just gonna take that on the same brush I use for my bronzer and contour this is just a peachy brown And this is a matte shade as well. Okay, then I'm going in with this matte um, rose, rosy pink. And this is just going to go on the front part of my cheek. Just to add a pop of color. Okay, and then to highlight my cheekbones, I'm using... Um, this MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and this works on pretty much all skin tones. Taking some on my brush. Whatever's left on my brush, I'm taking that down my nose, on my cupid's bow, a bit on my chin, and on my forehead. I tend to put the least amount of shimmer on my T-zone, especially for something that I want, especially for a look that I know I'm going to be photographed in. So now that I'm done with all my face makeup, I'm just going to set it in place using my RCMA No Color Powder. which is decanted into that pot there. And I'm just taking very little and putting it on the rest of my face. Okay, and I'm going to put on some false lashes. I'm just going to curl, curl my lashes first. And 
I'm going to go in with some Ardell Demi Wispies. Because I'm going for a nude lip, um, and I'm using the OCC Lip Tart, it lasts forever without a lip liner. So I don't really need to use that. Um, and I'm going to go in with the shade Carver, Carver, Carver. And it's a nude, well it's a completely nude shade. That's the shade that it is. And I'm going to mix it with another OCC lip tart, which I've had to put into a little jar because the packet split, the tube split. Um, so I'm just going to mix the two of them up just to get a pinky nude shade. Okay, now I choose not to wear gloss only because I need the lipstick to last and if I put gloss on it's going to wear away a lot quicker. Okay, so the glue seems to have dried. Um, what I'm going to do is go over the lash band with, a, um, with the black gel liner just to hide the band. So that's the final look guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think. I hope it was helpful for those of you who are getting married and who are looking for a look like this. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, but congratulations Kinga, I really hope you have a fantastic day and um, I will see you all very soon. Bye.